హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ వెల్కమ్ టు ద కోర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఫండమెంటల్స్ ఆఫ్ ఐఓటీ ఇన్ షార్ట్ ఎఫ్ఐఓటి ఇన్ టుడేస్ క్లాస్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు లర్న్ అబౌట్ సీరియల్ కమ్యూనికేషన్ దిస్ సీరియల్ కమ్యూనికేషన్ ఈజ్ విత్ రెస్పెక్ట్ టు ద ఆడినో బోర్డ్ ఓకే సో సీరియల్ కమ్యూనికేషన్ ఈజ్ ఎ సింపుల్ టెక్నిక్ ఆర్ ఎ స్కీమ్ దట్ యూజెస్ యూఏఆర్టీ వీ ఆల్రెడీ నో వాట్ ఈస్ అూఆర్టీ రైట్ యూనివర్సల్ అ సింక్రోనస్ రిసీవర్ ట్రాన్స్మిటర్ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ద మైక్రో కంట్రోలర్ ఓకే సో ఇఫ్ ఇట్స్ అండ్ ఫైవ్ వోల్డ్స్ డెవలప్మెంట్ బోర్డ్ విత్ రెస్పెక్ట్ టు ద ఆడినో ఇఫ్ అట్ ఆల్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ లాజిక్ హై ఆర్ లాజిక్ వన్ ఓకే దట్ పర్టికులర్ పిన్ విల్ బీ డిస్పేటింగ్ ఫైవ్ వోల్డ్స్ ఆఫ్ సప్లై ఆర్ ఎనర్జీ ఓకే సో ఇఫ్ ఇట్స్ అ లాజిక్ జీరో ఆర్ లో లాజిక్ ఓకే ఇట్ విల్ బీ హ్యావింగ్ ఎ జీరో వోల్డ్ సప్లై ఓకే now coming to 3.3 volts board if it's logic 1 or high okay that particular pin will be showing 3 volts and if it's a logic low or logic 0 it will be showing 0 volts okay so the message is sent to the computer from arduino or sent from pin 1 of the arduino board here we are talking about the arduino you know pin 1 of the arduino board which is called as transmitter and the message being sent to the arduino from the computer are received through pin 0 of an arduino you know which is called as receiver okay if you see the arduino you know over here first two pin 0th pin as well as first pin are considered for the serial communication purpose where 0th pin is for receiver and first one is uh, first pin is for transmission signal okay so in order to have uh, an indication we also have a transmitting and receiving leds so mostly whenever we are uploading the program or code into the arduino boards you can see these transmitting and receiving led blinking okay now if we see the uh, with respect to the serial communications we have several functions okay where uh, serial dot begin a uh, function is one of the most famous function which is widely used in the arduino programming so in order to have a proper serial communication okay so we need to use this particular serial dot begin with some uh, brackets okay so the serial dot begin function sets the baud rate for the serial data communication so the baud rate means here it signifies the data uh, rate uh, with respect to bits per second per second how many bits have been transmitted or processed okay so the default baud rate in the arduino will be 9600 bits per second and we also have several baud rates like 4800 14400 38400 28800 so based on the applications okay we will be keep on changing the baud rates okay so this particular serial dot begin is declared in two formats so one is begin with respect to speed and begin with respect to speed as well as configuration okay so speed in the sense how much bits per second it has been transmitted okay that is what we are going to see and the configuration in the sense uh, whether uh, uh, it's a stop or a parity or data bits whatever uh, it is thing okay that will be displayed okay so it signifies the serial itself is it signifies the serial port object speed in the sense as i've already said it signifies the baud rate and the configuration it sets the stop parity or the data bits okay so this is how it will be given so we already know right we already learned like uh, for an arduino programming we have two things one is void setup and void loop okay so in the void setup if you give this particular serial dot begin with respect to baud rate okay so this is how it will be mentioned okay so if you see the uh, instruction so void setup is the setup function so the 14400 or 9600 whatever the mentioned in the braces that will be the baud rate and serial dot begin will be the statement and in the loop we will be having uh, whatever the uh, instructions or the logic to be run that will be installed into that now coming to the arduino serial dot print okay so if at all you want to print any text or any data onto the serial monitor of an arduino software or of an arduino ide in the arduino software at the right side top corner we can find the serial monitor as well 
if at all you want to print any kind of data or status okay of the project execution or any kind of uh, gps or gsm data everything can be displayed over there so in order to print that we need to use ordino serial dot print function okay so the serial dot print function it prints the the data to the serial port okay so the printed data is initially stored in ascii ascii is nothing but the american standard code for information interchange format which is an uh, human readable text okay so this particular serial dot print will be having two formats one is print with respect to the value and print with respect to the value as well as format that is print value comma format okay so this is how it will be written so the first s letter will be in the upper case remaining all letters need to be in the lower case and we will be having a parenthesis at the end so c if the serial dot print 15.45 is given the in the output serial monitor 15.45 will be directly printed okay so if you are writing some text okay so serial dot print uh, within the quotes hello ordino if you type something okay that will be same displayed on the serial monitor as well okay now coming to the serial dot print ln okay serial dot print as well as serial dot print ln is somewhat different okay so apart from serial dot print serial dot print ln means it prints the line which sends the strings followed by the uh, uh, written ascii as well as it's somewhat like a new line okay printing the characters in the new line okay so it's nothing but it's somewhat similar to an pressing enter after typing in the text editor once you type something and once you enter it goes to the new line right so every time you try to print with serial dot print ln it keeps on uh, printing in the new line okay that is uh, for used for the um, uh, this particular serial dot print ln is used for that now let's see what is the Arduino serial dot read as well as serial dot write. Okay, first let's see serial dot read. Okay, so the serial dot read in the Arduino reads the incoming data in the Arduino. Okay, so mostly the int data type is used here. Okay, it returns the first data byte of the arrival serial data, and it also returns one. Okay, and no data. Uh, will be available on the serial board. If there is no data is available on the serial board, it gets a number or a digit one. Okay. Now the syntax used for this particular reading the data is serial dot read with parenthesis. So obviously again S will be uppercase. Remaining all the wordings will be in the lower case, followed by the parenthesis. Okay. Coming to the serial write. Okay. So, with respect to as the name indicate, it sends the binary data to the serial port in the Arduino. Okay. So, the data through this particular serial date, uh, serial write is sent as a series of byte or a single byte. Okay. So, most of this data type will be like at size underscore t. Okay. So, the serial write function will be written the number of written bytes. So, this is also same serial s will be uppercase remaining all letters will be lowercase followed by the parenthesis okay so this particular serial write will be declared also in three formats okay write in bracket string str write in brackets value and write and buffer comma length okay so this is how a serial uh, write serial read and serial dot print ln serial print okay all and serial dot begin all these are the functions with respect to the uh Arduino programming uh which belongs to the serial communication